All right, so I've had these uh, for about four weeks. I've been wearing them, and I'm gonna give them their first wash because I don't want um, a, an ultra drastic, like mega drastic fade. Um, I want I want to be able to see the fade, but I don't want it to be practically white. Um, and this just this this color just proves that Giles is a player with an attention to detail, man. Um, so there are your pocket bags. Uh, they're not they're not really heavy, but they're obviously a fairly good material. Um, whatever. What is that right hand twill? <laughs> so yeah, I mean, there's already see the thing is that these are 18 ounce, so they're fairly heavy not as heavy as Ironheart does but um you know there's just such a quality difference that I've detected I have a fairly I have a high-end pair of nudies like fancy organic Turkish cotton blah 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 um and they're like $300 retail didn't pay that for them but these guys um I can show those if someone wants to see them uh I have some uh I have a denim collection anyway um, but so this is much, that's about 14 up to maybe 14.4. I'm not sure because I didn't buy them from nudie. Um, but this denim is just so responsive. So we got some honeycombs and as you can see, um, I think I like the idea of like over time, I did want to, I did just want to point out that sometimes you'll get guys where here they'll have a blow through, like they'll blow through, um, and then they, they'll say, Dan, you know, I wonder why it blew through. The thing is that if you're not unturning these cuffs to get these tiny little pebbles and rocks out, you have to imagine what it's like for something as hard as a rock to be pinched down in there and kicked around constantly. Um, it probably wouldn't take too long. So these are chain stitched. Uh, they're beautiful. I got some stuff on them, but they were saying on the actual Ironheart form, it tells you... Uh, that soak should probably basically be irrelevant. I guess Momotaro makes some uh, real uh, denim specific. So four weeks, and I'm gonna wash these today. So there's a tiny bit more right there where the thighs rub together, and as they stop rubbing together, obviously it tends to go away gets more and more intense all the way up which is beautiful some distressing had my hands in someone was asking about this leather strap uh, so if you can see the way that it bunches there the way that it's not gonna bunch there it does if you are gonna put um, something on the outside I actually I decided to put my keys um, right here in this pocket because in America our steering column is on the we plug the keys in on uh, this side so I can kind of just reach in and stab um, but this can if you're gonna hang a tool from here it can you're probably gonna dis you're, you're gonna almost disable this pocket because um, it's not gonna be very easy at first uh, but it is, it's, I mean, I haven't done anything to it. I haven't treated it or conditioned it, and it's fairly supple. So, there's a little bit more breakage. Um, these are, obviously, uh, these jeans are super. So, I am going to turn these guys inside out and uh, give them their first cold wash. And I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna do a gentle, I'm gonna do an ultra gentle spin on it just to so they dry a little bit quicker because honestly I'm trying to wear them tomorrow. So these are some of the inside details. These are where those tools go in the back pocket. There's your rivets. The works. I thought it was cool. Um, some of these, they put these bar tacking. They put that on the outside because it quote unquote it looks nice um but i like that iron heart put it inside to be completely honest um 
And Giles cho chose a really, really pretty color to accent for the seaming, I think. Yeah, these jeans are the bomb. Thanks, Giles.